Hello guys. Welcome back to the aviary. In this episode, we will release and discuss a large species from Australia, namely the blue-faced honeyeater. These birds can also be found in Papua New Guinea. But what exists there is a subspecies of the blue-faced honeyeater. These subspecies are generally smaller than the nominee race that only exists in Australia. Without further ado, let's watch the release of a pair of blue-faced honeyeaters on the aviary. It's the aviary! The bird seemed to want to fly out of the cage immediately. It didn't even wait for Irfan to release it out. But it's all right. Oh, it turns out there's still one blue faced in the cage. The bird still didn't know that the cage door had opened. Ah, finally. It flew outside. The blue-faced pair instantly reunited just seconds after they exited the cage. Blue-faced honeyeater. The blue-faced honeyeater or Entomazon cyanotes, also known as the banana bird is a bird about 26 to 32 centimeters long and weighs about 105 grams. With that size, they are a large bird among honey eaters. Their upper part is olive green, and the underside is white. Their black heads are complemented by patches of bare skin on both sides of the face, and white stripes on the cheeks and nape of the neck. Besides their heads, black color can also be seen decorating their throat. The physical appearance of female and male birds is similar. However, we can quickly tell the difference between adult and juvenile birds. The patches on the faces of adult birds are blue, while juveniles have green patches. The green color will turn blue when they are about 16 months old. Blue-faced honeyeaters are commonly found in Australia, Papua New Guinea, and Eastern Indonesia in Merak, Papua Province. Their habitat includes all rainforests, dry sclerophyll forests, open forests, pandanus shrubs, mangroves, water flow, and wet areas and semi-arid areas, banana plantations, farmlands, orchards, with elevations reaching about 850 meters above sea level. They can be found in parks, golf courses, and gardens in urban areas. Blue-faced honeyeaters are social and gregarious birds. They usually live in pairs or small groups. In general, they forage for food in tree branches or foliage, high on trees, and small groups of up to seven birds. Although sometimes their group members can reach around 30 birds. Their diet consists mainly of insects, including cockroaches, and small lizards. But they also often eat berries, pollen, nectar, and cultivated plants, such as bananas. However, they are also known by the name banana bird. Some people think of them as pests that like to destroy banana plantations and eat ripe fruits there. These birds can be boisterous when congregating. 
At dawn, we can already hear their voices. And in the morning, they can make calls for 30 minutes. When flying, they also often creak. And even when looking for and eating food, they keep in contact with each other through soft chirps. Sometimes they forage in mixed groups with other birds, such as yellow-throated miners and little friar birds, although they tend to exclude other birds in their foraging area. Blue-faced honeyaters love to bathe, and they do it in turns. So, for example, when a flock of blue-faced honeyaters wants to take a bath, one bird will dive into a river or pond, while the other flock will perch on the surrounding trees while preening. Another trait of birds with the status of least concern is that they are very aggressive and have a high curiosity. Because of this, they often get into fights with other birds of different species. Blue-faced honeyater mothers will even try to chase away owls and dogs if the mother feels the animals threaten their nest. They also sometimes come to the camp and take food and drinks suitable for their consumption, such as fruit, honey, and milk. Yes, mother blue-faced honeyaters like to regurgitate milk on their young. The breeding season for blue-faced honeyater occurs from June to January. They often use nests left by other birds. Sometimes they use the nest as is, without modifying it. But sometimes, they add additional nesting material. These birds don't always take advantage of abandoned nests. They also sometimes make new nests in the shape of a bowl, with the bark covered with a softer material, such as grass. The female parent lays two to three eggs, incubated for about 16 days by the female parent alone. But when the blue-faced honeyater chicks hatch, both parents will take care of them. Blue-faced honeyaters are cooperative breeders, so sometimes immature birds help both parents feed their young. Blue-faced honeyater chicks hatch blind. They only open their eyes after four days. They will remain with their mother for some time after fledging. There are two birds, the Asian coal and the pallid cuckoo. They are brood parasites of the blue-faced honeyater. So don't be surprised if you find additional eggs in the blue-faced honeyater's nest. Maybe it was the intruder's egg. That's the information about the blue-faced honeyater. Thank you for watching, and I hope this video can be helpful for you. See you in the next episode.